Hi guys, welcome to this video. This is a video from After The Facts. I love it when you help each other out, right? So yesterday I had a day off and today I come in and I see there was an issue with the sound. Now we do have 31 ISOs and 28 desktops, so it might be that you're not affected, as simple as that. Sound is either Pulse Audio or Pipewire, right? And we have Pulse Audio Arch Wiki. So that's the first place I suppose anybody would go to. Except, of course, go to Discord, go to Telegram, go to our channels, go to YouTube. If nothing is there, you're on your own, right? So you have to investigate how um, sound is created, why it's not working anymore, because it has been working always. You get frustrated. It's life, right? Updates. Now, do know that after using Arch Linux maybe for around eight years, things are that the issues that would, can and will arise, that after three days, they're mostly solved, right? It gives, give it some time. If you're not interested in all the technical stuff, you say, I'll just sit it out, wait for the update to come in. But yesterday, people helped each other and that's great, right? That's also the idea. The good vibe is the only really very important um, uh, idea behind Arclix. It's passion, it's sharing knowledge, right? So if you if you have an issue and you find the solution, please take the time to copy paste. Here's the link. If this and this happens, then do this, right? And that's what happens. So the sound was not working for some of us and I think it's mostly plasma related. So when we got the, the update in, you do pseudo pacman or just update, <laughs> right? We have an alias. And then we saw that there was something in there, but of course we don't know, right? Wire plumber sudo reboot because there was a Linux kernel in there as well, a new Linux kernel. So basically, you know, eh, very important packages. When they get updated, you need to reboot. Here he is. So I rebooted, but I saw already a message from yesterday that the sound was gone. This system is the ISO builder. ISO builder has Cinnamon on it, GNOME, LeftWM, Plasma, and XFCE. And it's this probably this little bit here that uh, triggers everything for me on this machine. Excel is fine, Excel is fine. I have other machines to test, right? But there are 31 possibilities, 31 ISOs and Arch Linux, of course. So the thing is, it's also about um, figuring out what to do, right? One of the things that you could type is Arch Linux sound stopped working. And instead of letting Google give you everything from the last 20 years no you want to have what happened the last 24 hours the last hour last week and then you start reading did somebody report the, did they report something and, and is there a solution for it so 2015 not going to click on those guys but 2022 maybe but this one 13 hours ago two days ago and it's this link that the guys on telegram gave that says okay go do this, read, 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 right? You just try to read it. And then they copy pasted this into the system, not that one, sorry. They copy pasted this one into the system and everything worked again. So I was playing YouTube on Vivaldi, copy pasted in the terminal and suddenly boop, sound was there. So help each other out, but this is then the video after the facts. And now if you wanna learn some more, you say, what is all this, right? ArchWiki, systemd, user. Systemd offers the ability to manage services under the user's control. So that's why we have this user thing behind it. And now means just enable it and start it. And then the name, that's what came in, the update. And we're gonna say something like user mask. What's that? So you go and have a look, control find of course, mask and see if you can find things like that. But this is here just so you can read it. And they say you can either find it here, you can find it here and so on. That's where he's gonna put his files. I'm gonna show you later on, 
right? You go check this as well, Pulse Audio. There is a page, Pulse Audio, but also troubleshooting. So if, if there is no sound, look at the data we got, right? To analyze why is there no sound. Last but not least, and then we'll just do it together here. If at some point in time you say, I would like to have a go at PyPyre, here it is, install PyPyre. It will uninstall Pulse Audio and it will install PyPyre and, and vice versa. It will uninstall PyPyre and back to Pulse Audio. Now in the release, look at the date here, June, 1st of June, we'll have an Articlinks D that will provide the choice. Articlinx D's bare is minimal, so it's an ideal place to say, choose either Pulse Audio, choose either Pipewire, and be done with it. All the other ISAs won't have it because Pulse Audio is already on the system. There's no choice to make, to, to make because it's there. So after installation, for example, of Articlinx XL, you want to have Pipewire, here it is. Eric Dubois, Articlinx Nemesis. You just run Pipewire, just get rid, get rid of some stuff, Pulse Audio related, and gets in Pipewire related stuff. Simple as that. So that aside, let's go to three, Control T, Control H, no, Control H again, Config, and then, where are you, my friend? System D, found it. So we seem to be having something here dot config system the user right remember the arch wiki page so they're putting something in here with the code that we just typed we just seen somewhere is here it is right that's the code i just copy pasted in bam sound was there what happens if you do that it creates this what is it it's points it says run wire uh, plumber service but not really it points to um, black hole a, a void uh, nothing device null mean null means put anything in there and it's just pew, gone so wire plumber service is not running after hitting this in the, in the terminal now if you want to mask something you can also unmask things but let's maybe first have look to this is here let's open a new tab so i can stay in here did not do that right i think new tab okay and then we go to where it normally should be that's his file system user our uh, lip i guess system d so system d voila and then user here is all the other system d stuff is here and it's a wire plumber in here yes yes so this is the normal text multimedia service session manager conflicts with this one okay and all the rest but we are with this code we're pointing to a void so we actually telling him to mask this particular service so do not run that for this user alone eh? not anybody else this is user related user mask so if you got more users you have to run it for the other user as well because it's in the user configuration okay so now you know that this thing actually blocks the way to this thing so that's masking if I unmask it, this happens. Removed home Eric dot config system the user, it's gone. Meaning this will kick in again. Meaning sound is gone again, right? So one up, one up, arrow up is a very good thing, and it's back. I have back sound. I do think it's only plasma related, but uh, well, it's there. The knowledge is there and look for solutions online. And if you find it, please share it so somebody else can just quickly copy paste the, the, 
relevant code in it and just go on with this business. All right. Cheers.